Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Retro and it's been quite a while but it's finally time for another Video Game Finds episode. And the thing is, I've been to Barcelona for a week with my girlfriend and of course, as a video game collector, I'm always on the lookout for video games. I visited some shops, um, a couple of second-hand stores like CEX, etc. and actually a video game store, but they didn't really have anything interesting. So um, CEX was where I found my games and also some stuff at a flea market and another uh, clothing shop. So let's get started. The first thing you see here is Fire Heroes for the PlayStation 2. It's a 505 Game Street game and um, it's one of those obscure games that I didn't have yet. 505 Game Street is a publisher that I collect for and uh, yeah, Fire Heroes, at least to my knowledge, was a game that I was still missing. I haven't checked yet in my collection if I was actually missing it, but I think I I did miss it because the box doesn't sound, doesn't uh, look familiar to me. Uh, same goes for 44 Party. Looks to be some kind of Japanese uh, party game. Um, kind of like uh, WarioWare or something like that. So this is a game we'll definitely check out in the uh, collection dissection videos. Then I also went to a flea market and not that I planned on going to a flea market but since we were waiting to get into the Sagrada Familia, a uh, very pretty church. Um, uh, we just walked around a bit and then found a flea market and at that flea market I found this collection of Pokemon cards and these are Pokemon cards that at least to my knowledge were not released here in uh, the Netherlands because they're all um, see-through. Let me take one out for you because here we have Charmeleon as you can see it's in Spanish and yeah these are see-through. Too bad they're in Spanish and too bad the guy that these belong to put them in upside down in the folder. See he has the folder upside down so if you put it on the side and shake it a bit all the cards drop out. It's 99% complete. Probably at the flea market someone picked it up, dropped it or put it down hard and a couple of cards fell out. And I'm missing because it's here 44, 40, 45, 5 is missing and 9, 50 and 51. So four cards are missing. But still really cool set, paid 5 euros for this and uh, not sure what I'm going to do with it, but uh, I know a lot of kids that I can make, uh, uh, a lot of family that I can make happy with these uh, cards. Then you can already see my best find of the holiday, best find of the year, best find of a very, very long time. But before that, I also bought a t-shirt, which is in my opinion really cool. has some uh, Stone Age cave drawings on it and an AT-AT -AT, uh, Imperial Walker from Star Wars. And then, of course, if you were following me on facebook.com slash drretromd, you've already seen this. But um, the odds are very, very small, but this happened. Um, the street where we were staying, um, the, the street next to it, there was a CEX. We walked in. I hardly ever watch the console section because I don't need consoles, already have all of them. And in my corner of my eye, I saw, hey, huh? that's a PlayStation 4 in gray. Let me take a look. And then there it was, the PlayStation 4 20th Anniversary Edition, complete in box with everything that comes to it. Um, and the, the insides of the box are all in superb shape. Uh, the box itself is a little rough, has a dent here, has a, a small scratch on the side, but it's still in very good condition. Um, I paid 850 euros, which is a hell lot of money, um, even for a PlayStation 4, but chances are these will only get more and more expensive. And uh, the regular going price nowadays is about 1250 euros. So at 850, I did a good deal. And as a PlayStation collector, this is of course one of the prime, prime pieces in my collection from now on. So um, yeah, what are the odds? In Barcelona, in a, in a shop that's near the street where I'm uh, staying and then finding it, well, the odds are very small, but that's, that's how you see sometimes you just need to be lucky to find some really, really cool stuff. So that was it. This 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 beauty is of course going to get its own uh, unboxing video, which will be up soon. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed finding this because you know I did. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.